Hi all the students. Today we are going to study wireless networks. Now I have already given you a brief idea about what wireless networks are in my first video of computer networks. So let's uh, study thoroughly what wireless networks are. A wireless communication is a is something that has uh, become more, uh, mo uh, more into use because of the ease of use that is available because of the wireless networks. Though it is not a new idea, it started as early as in 1901. So you cannot say that it is a completely new idea. It started as early as 1901. And then uh, with uh, modifications uh, over the years, the, the kind of wireless networks that we are using today is a result. So uh, to wireless networks, if I uh, talk of wireless networks, they can be divided into three main categories. So I can say that there are three major type of wireless networks. First is your system interconnection then is your wireless lans and then you have your wireless vans right so basically there are three types of wireless networks system interconnection wireless lans and wireless vans we will start with the first one first that is the system interconnection so what is a system interconnection So basically system interconnection is all about interconnecting interconnecting the components. So what are we trying to interconnect? We are trying to interconnect the components of what? Of a computer. Okay. So, we are basically trying to interconnect the components of a computer using what? Using short range radio waves, right? So precisely talking, in a system interconnection, we are trying to interconnect the components of a computer using short range radio waves. So these short range radio waves are the ones that we call Bluetooth. Now Bluetooth is a very common term these days which you all must have heard and you all know. Nowadays, we all have be, are using Bluetooth speakers, we have Bluetooth systems in our cars. So, we uh, ha are very aware of what a Bluetooth is. Even uh, uh, we exchange data through mobiles using Bluetooth. So, Bluetooth is a very common term and we, are all, we all are not just aware of it, but we also use it on our day-to-day -day basis. So, this is what the system interconnection is. It basically uses your short-range range radio waves which are known as Bluetooth to connect the components of a computer. Now what do you mean by the components of a computer? Components of a computer means if I say components 
so what all components does a computer have now you all must have started with desktop at some point of time today you all must be having laptops but when you started with or your elder sisters or elder brothers when they started with they must have started with a desktop so you must be knowing that what all components a desktop or a computer has a computer uh, these components include your keyboard your mouse your scanner right now previously if you must have seen pre earlier the keyboard the mouse and the scanner all these components of the computer were connected to the main unit by cables uh, all uh, they all were connected to the main unit and with the help of a of cables for every separate component there was a separate co uh, cable for keyboard there used to be a separate cable for mouse there used to be a separate cable for the scanner and all these cables were then connected to the main unit so this is how these components used to be connected to your computer earlier right so uh, what used to be uh, they used to be little holes which you used to call ports and uh, the the cables used to connect these components to these uh, to those holes or ports so uh, like uh, these were color coded like you had a, a separate color coded port or hole for the keyboard there was a separate color coded port for the mouse and a separate color coded uh, port for the scanner so by identifying the color you could figure out that this is the port for the keyboard this is the port for the mouse and this is the port for the scanner and even some computer vendors had the option of sending a technician to the user's home to do this so uh, if your parents bought a desktop or your elder brothers or sisters bought a desktop you can ask them that when they first purchased a computer uh, the vendor from whom they purchased the computer they must have sent a technician to help them to connect the components to the computer like plugging in the keyboard cable to the main unit plugging in the mouse cable to the main unit plugging in the scanner cable or the printer cable to the main unit so they must have sent a technician for the help so basically these all uh, components were connected through cables or wires earlier i mean they were connected in a wired manner but uh, consequently some companies designed short range wireless network so if i call them short range radio waves or if i call them short range wireless networks so com these companies designed short range radio waves which i can also call short range wireless network because what are radio waves they are wireless they are through the air so they are providing you with the wireless network so i can call them short range radio waves also and i can call them short range wireless networks so what some companies did they got together and designed a short range wireless network and this wireless network was called your blue tooth right and uh, they designed this short range wireless network called blue tooth to connect to connect these components which you call your keyboard mouse printer or scanner to or your uh, digital cameras or your headsets to the computer without wires now there was no hassle of wires all right so there were no cables you did not require any cables to connect these components to your computer you did not require any installation to connect these components to your computer so there was a lot of ease of use you simply what did you them you just brought them within the range of your computer and then they got connected you brought them within the range and then they got connected this is how the bluetooth technology works if you want to hear music in your car using bluetooth what you do you bring your mobile in the range of your car's bluetooth and once that is your mobile is detected through your car's bluetooth you can uh, listen to uh, the songs on your mobile on youtube 
in your car's speaker this is what you do in a bluetooth you bring the components in the range of the main device so this is what happens in the case of computer also you just bring these uh, components like the keyboard mouse scanner or printer in the range of the main device which is your desktop or your computer and these components then start working many of you must be using the wireless mice mouse or wireless keyboard and you know that there are no cables right you simply bring those components in the range of your desktop and you can use them so this is how the bluetooth technology works and this is known as your system interconnection all right now This system interconnections, the technology or the paradigm that they use. So what kind of paradigm are they using? The paradigm that the uh, system interconnection uses or which you call the Bluetooth in a layman's language. The paradigm that it uses is of a master slave right the main machine is your master and the components that are connected to the master are the slave so you can say that your computer is the master here and all the components that are connected to the computer which can be your keyboard which can be your mouse which can be your scanner all these components are the slave so the master slave paradigm is used in the system interconnections right now the uh, as i told you the main system unit or your computer or your desktop is usually the master and this master talks to the slave that is your mouse, keyboards, etc. And the master tells the slave what addresses to use, when they can broadcast or for how long they can transmit and what frequencies they can use. Since the main unit or your computer is the master, so it is quite obvious that the master will be telling the slave that is the uh, uh, components that uh, what addresses they need to use. then what when they can broadcast and how long for how long they can transmit what frequencies they can use so this is how this system interconnection works right now the other type or the second type of LAN that we talked about was your wireless LANs. The other type of wireless network that we talked about was your wireless LAN. Now what is wireless LAN? LAN you all have studied in my previous video and you all know what a LAN is. Now let's see what a wireless LAN is. Now these are the systems or in which every computer, a LAN will have several computers or nodes. So in a wireless LAN, Every computer has a radio modem. That is the modems which would be using radio waves. Right? So every computer in this wireless LAN will have radio modem. And they will also have an antenna. 
right and with the radio modem and with the antenna they can what can they do they can communicate with other systems so uh, precisely in a wireless LAN, there will be computers and every computer will have two important components. One is the two important things. One is the radio modem and other is the antenna. And with the help of the radio modem and antenna, these computers will communicate with other computers or other nodes or other systems. Now usually there is an antenna at the ceiling something like this that there is an antenna at the ceiling or at the top like this which you also call the base station so this you also call the base station the antenna at the top this base station is connected to a wired network even in case of a wireless LAN the base station is always connected to a wired network so something like this you will have an antenna at the ceiling which is also known as the base station and this antenna or this base station is connected to a wired network all right this is in case where the systems are not in a close proximity where the systems are far away from each other but in case if the systems are in close proximity or they are very, uh, where they are close to each other then they can communicate if the systems are close to each other then they can communicate directly then the they would be direct communication so if the systems are far away in case of a wireless LAN then you have an antenna at the ceiling which is known as the base station which is connected to a wired network and these systems connect through the uh, communicate through the base station that means if this system has to communicate with this system if this is system 1 system 2 and system 3 if system 1 wants to communicate with system 2, it cannot communicate directly with system 2. First of all, it will send the a message to base station and then from the base station, then this message will be received by system 2. So this is how two systems which are far away from each other in a wireless LAN communicate through the antenna or the base station. But if in a wireless LAN, these systems are in a close proximity. Here you can see that they are very close. So if these systems are in a close proximity, then they do not need any antenna for communication. In that case, they can communicate directly with each other. Wireless LANs are more common, more uh, common in small offices. They are more common in small offices and homes wherein installation of ethernet is a trouble and you do not want an ethernet to be installed right the ethernet installation is a trouble here and you do not consider a feasible to install an ethernet in small offices or homes where there is short range where there is communication in a small uh, geographical area so the wireless lands are preferred more at such places now the third kind of the wireless networks that we are talking about that i told you were the wireless vans or the wide area systems so the wireless vans 
right so these wireless vans are also known as your wide area systems all right now what are these wireless vans or your wide area systems the best example are the radio waves the radio waves or the radio networks that you use in your cellular phones that are used in your cellular phones or mobile phones that is your wireless wan right so uh, they they are a very low bandwidth wireless system the bandwidth used here is low so they are also known as low bandwidth wireless system also uh you know that this system that the cellular system or the wireless system has already gone through three generations so there have been three generations for this we have gone through three generations of wireless vans wherein the first generation was analog only right there was only analog and or voice data the second generation was for both voice and digital data or voice and data and the third generation is digital also then it is both voice and data so the first generation was only analog or voice the second generation was both voice and data and the third generation is digital and voice and data so this is your wireless vans so this is all about wireless networks in today's lecture